Let's try a still life. Start with a line for a shelf. Maybe there's a pot on the shelf. Some draped material. I've just made a colour here. It's a it's a mixture of different colours. There are some red, some blues and browns in this. But you could make your pot any colour you wish. For example, shall I add a little bit of purple to my pot? And being careful to leave some areas of white that can be the, the light shining on my pot. Little bit of darker colour here. As I've said many many times all painting is an illusion so we're just creating this illusion of the pot having light shining on it You can even take a small piece of tissue paper if you wish and lift out some highlights here and there, paint the colour back in again, see what happens. Yeah. I like that effect, but by keeping one side of the pot quite dark, and I'm using a very strong Payne's Grey here, there's hardly any water with it, keeping one side of the pot crisp and dark. And try and give it a little bit of realism. So there's no white actually painted on this pot, it's just the white of the paper. I'm 
maybe a colour for the background. Taking some water and prepared this colour here. Let's try that. It's just a soft blended colour. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it as well. Yeah, like that. Brightens that up a little bit. I'm going to fill all this area here. I'm adding a little water to my brush here, a little bit of water, and just blending this background colour in. This is just a wash of colour. There's no big deal to that. Same on this side, just a wash of colour. Let me blend in a little bit of water. Just being careful when I get close to the pot, which may still be a little, a little wet. So I'm just being careful here so that the colors don't all run where I don't want them to run. If you're going to attempt this, you've got a little bit more time than me and you can take your time allow it to dry really well. Let's blend the background at the below the shelf. Blend some of that colour in there. I'm liking the way that the pot is drying now, soaking into the paper and you'll probably know from my previous classes that the paper I'm using is called Bockingford, Bockingford watercolour paper and it's a hundred, this is a hundred and forty pound weight, it just means it's rather like a thin card, that's all. If you're buying some from the store, have a look on the front of the pad and it should say the weight. Swapping over now to my smaller brush and the white area here to me is representing some draped material. So I'm going to introduce some sweeping strokes. There's a feeling of energy and a flow. The way that the material is flowing down. Coming from behind the pot, maybe Maybe it's placed on the pot as well, underneath. Just a tiny touch. I'm 
Again, I'm being very careful because the edge of my pot, the dark area here, is still quite wet. So, just leaving that for a moment, not going right up to the edge of the pot. Adding a little bit of Payne's Grey here to my blue. Following the sweep of the pot. and adding a very small amount of purple here. Taking my tissue, very tiny amount of tissue, and I'm just going to lift a little bit of this color off here. And I'm going to Just try and introduce the suggestion of a little bit of shadow, perhaps. And perhaps there's some shadow as well in this area. I find when I'm painting it always takes a little bit of time just to get into the, literally into the swing of the painting and to actually enjoy it and relax a little bit. It takes me a little bit of time just to switch off from the problems of our daily life. But now, beginning to get into the swing of this letting it have a little bit of its own way seeing how it evolves and develops introducing a, just a very small amount of purple here and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to call this complete because if I do too much more 
I think I might ruin it. So I'm going to stop there. I would normally allow the painting to dry for a few hours, but so we can see what it looks like with the tape taken off. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, still life with pot. Hope you've enjoyed that. Happy painting.